once you ask, I hadn't decided. So, if I tell you now, will you promise to keep it to yourself? I promise. Very well then. I've had a few medical tests over the last few weeks and I went up to London to hear the results. Yes. And it seems that I haven't got very long to live. Well, it won't be quick. <laughs> but then you can never get a London doctor to be precise. Well, it won't be the same without you. Oh, <laughs> nonsense. You'll just take over from where I left off. You'll be that frightening old lady, <laughs> keeping everyone up to the mark. <laughs> Thank you very much. You will, my darling, and you will do it wonderfully. Of course, <laughs> it's all a question of perception. People don't expect nice old ladies from Cheltenham to go around shooting people. I don't see what age has got anything to do with it. Or gender for that matter. I had learnt to use a variety of firearms before my 20th birthday, including a small Beretta and an elephant gun. <laughs> Bet I could still drop a gazelle at 60 yards. So, the looming presence of the lumbering Keith Charlesworth <laughs> didn't present much of a challenge. I firmly believe he didn't think I would pull the trigger. <laughs> I could have sworn I, I saw a flicker of surprise across his face as the first bullet hit him in the chest. <laughs> I wonder what was going through his mind just before the second one did. But then I thought of Christopher's shirts and suddenly I could see him as a little lad on his first day at school looking down at me with his bright blue eyes as I tied his shoelaces crisscross under the bridge and then you pull it tight. He was ever so bright, was our Christopher, but he did struggle with his shoelaces. I tied them specially tight that day, hoping that they would last him till the evening. Oh, he looks so bonny in his little blazer. You know, I spent the whole day worrying about those shoelaces. Well, how could I fail him now? Oh yes, one other thing. Set up a meeting, will you? Minister? With the machinists, their leaders. I beg your pardon? I want to meet them at my St James's Square offices at the earliest opportunity. But ministers don't do that. They never have. It'll just encourage them. Give credence to their cause. I am what is known as a very fiery personality. I hate to bring gender into this or go all womanly on you. But there you have it. And me standing up like this is just that fieriness leaping to the fore. Credence. I will give credence to their cause. My God, their cause already has credence. I don't want to leave, Nai Nai. I know you're always, you're always thinking of me, but you've no need to worry. I'm fine. I'm taking the new medicine and I feel much better. Rainy? You 
have work to do. You have so much ahead of you. Oh, I am so proud of you. Thank you.